Hey guys, so if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that uh, I have uh, two solar system and this is uh, my first four and a half kilowatt system that was ground mounted and I have about uh, 40 kilowatts of uh, lithium battery along with the Connex Snyder's inverter with the mini PDB and then the midnight um, charge controllers. Sorry, it's kind of a mess right now, um, but I'm going to get rid of my system and I already sold um all of the ground mounted before it was uh, there was 10 310 watts panels here i uh, got a couple of the small uh, 100 watts panel here and then i got four more of the 320 watts panel here and eventually i'm going to get rid of this panel too and then i'm just going to get rid of my solar system maybe <laughs> maybe just maybe um uh but look what this is what's this what is this big box that came the other day that uh, shipped it by freight, but unfortunately they did not assign a lift gate for the box. So the guy called me and he said it's about 200 pounds, um, but uh, he doesn't have a lift gate on his truck. There wasn't a lift gate on the orders for the shipping. And I was like, okay, uh, 200 pounds, that's not too bad, but I'm probably going to break my back and try to get it down. Anyways, I thought, hey, you know, I got a mini loader. I, well, I happen to have a mini loader now. So I was like, yeah, just uh, come on by and I'll see what I can do. So he came in and then I uh, pull out my mini, little mini loaders and then put it into the bucket, push it into the bucket and got it down. But anyway, so what's in what's inside here? Um, so let's uh, take a look. So my first time opening it too so what's this god that's huge hey pretty easy to open right side up already oh look what is that that thing is man this thing is huge okay so this is the grow watts 12k and it is the high voltage version it is an input sole input high voltage um, the regular one is like 150 volts um, this one is the high voltage which is uh, 250 volts uh, max input for the solars and this is at 12 kilowatts uh, you guys have probably seen this before there's plenty of unboxing and review so I'm not going to do that uh, so, I think I'll be replacing my Snyder, Connex Snyder inverter with this Grow Watts. Um, so the reason, uh, the reason being is that I'm going to install a 9 or a 10 kilowatts panels on my roof. So I'm going to put uh, new panels on the roof. And then I already got my HOA to approve my system, put it solar on the roof, and then I'll make it completely off-grid. Now, the reason I decided to stay off-grid is very simple. With my utility here, they don't really want solars, even though they were being sued, and then they change a couple of things. They make better plants, but it still sucks in my opinion. So I do not want to fee any extra power to them. I don't want to give them away. So they only pay like two cent or three cent per kilowatts. But when you needed the power from them, they'll charge you, you know, 10 or 20 times of how much they will pay you. So it's not worth it. Therefore, I decided I am going to stay with an off-grid system. Um, I think I'm just going to keep it at nine or 10 kilowatts and not making the system too big. Anyway guys, this is just a preview and then once I install the solar, I will make a video of the uh, solar installation. Um, I will pretty much try to get um, as much video as I can once I have the, the system going and, and fil I'll film it for you and then I'll update the video. Hey guys, so if you want to see the update, uh, coming up updates on my solar, my new solar system, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with that bell notification and give me a thumb up. Thank you for watching.